Obviously, the concern here in this country, the deadly terror attacks in Israel, highlighting concerns about national security threats through the southern border here in the U.S., and the record number of people on the terror watch list stopped there. Bear that out. Bill Malugin, he's been down there for a long time. He's now reporting again live in Brownsville, Texas. Bill, good morning. Uh, it's a big story. Yeah, Brett, good morning to you. I can tell you for over two years now, Border Patrol agents have been telling us they've got extreme concerns about who is crossing our southern border, primarily because so many agents have been pulled off the front lines to instead focus on processing. And that then leaves gaps in our border where we simply have nobody out on patrol. And the numbers are startling. We'll start with the terror watch list numbers. Fiscal year 2023 so far, 151 people on the FBI's terror watch list have been arrested by Border Patrol agents while they were crossing illegally here at our southern border. That is the highest number on record. It's also higher than the previous six years combined. The highest number under Trump was six. We got 151 this year so far. Now, the Biden administration says, well, that shows they're catching more people, right? Not exactly. We'll talk about the gotaways. CBP sources telling us since President Biden took office, there have been well over 1.5 million known gotaways at our southern border. These are illegal immigrants who are crossing the border and are seen on cameras or sensors, but Border Patrol doesn't have the manpower to get to them, so they successfully get into the United States without capture. For perspective, that is a population size bigger than the city of Dallas, Texas, that has successfully snuck across our border and gotten into the United States without apprehension. It's enough people to fill up 16 Rose Bowls in Pasadena, California. We also got some brand new internal CBP data leaked to us this morning from CBP sources. If we can pull this graphic up, uh, this data showing that thousands of so-called special interest aliens have been arrested by Border Patrol while crossing at our southern border illegally over the last two years. These special interest countries are what the federal government determines countries or, or uh, conditions that favor terrorism or could potentially pose a threat to the United States. But you can see these countries, thousands from Afghanistan, more than 600 from Iran, more than 160 from Lebanon, the home of Hezbollah, more than 500 people from Syria, the home of ISIS, more than 130 from Yemen, home of the Houthi rebels. And former Border Patrol Chief Rodney Scott, who served under both President Trump and President Biden says when Border Patrol agents encounter these people, they basically have no way of knowing who they are. Take a listen. An open border allowing anybody to come in is a national security threat. This administration keeps wanting to talk about we're vetting people coming in. That's just simply not true. We have very little information on the, the people across this entire globe. And to elaborate on that point, Border Patrol sources tell us that they simply have little to zero way of vetting these people from these so-called special interest countries. I'm told unless they've got a criminal record in the United States already or they're on some sort of federal watch list, there's no way for Border Patrol to find out about any possible criminal record. That's because these home countries that they're coming from, mostly in the Middle East, they don't share their records or their data with the United States. So when Border Patrol agents run their names or try to run their fingerprints, there's literally nothing there for them to compare it to. So obviously, major concern, uh, security concerns down here at our southern border, especially with what's happening in Israel right now, Brett. We'll send Bill, it back to you. Those numbers are staggering. Uh, the numbers, especially of those countries where obviously suspected terrorists have come from before. There has to be this huge level of frustration in the CBP. And obviously, they're, these, they're giving these numbers for a reason. Uh, you've dealt with this for a long time. This frustration is probably pretty high. It is, and their morale is in the toilet. And again, a lot of these Border Patrol, border patrol agents tell us they feel like they've been turned into social workers. They sign up for this job to patrol the front lines of the United States, go after the bad guys, go after the drug smugglers, go after the criminals and the cartels. Instead, many of them feel like they're paper pushers now, basically a welcome concierge, uh, driving migrants around, dropping them off at centers, filling out paperwork. And again, they're off the front lines. And Border Patrol leadership has expressed frustration about this, that they want to have 
have their agents out there patrolling to go after the bad guys. But when they get these huge groups of thousands of people crossing at once that the cartels are pushing across, it sucks up all their resources. And again, it leaves gaps in the border completely unpatrolled. That's where the national security threat comes in. And you hit the nail on the head, Brett. There is massive frustration within Border Patrol and with CBP. Mm -hmm. And thanks to these sources we have, they're able to get us these numbers and kind of put all this into perspective yeah, for us. Bill Malusian, that's a great reporting uh, along the border. Bill, thanks.